Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a title like this one. So to get started, first you need to create a new composition. I'm going to be using the HDTV 1080 preset and the duration is going to be 5 seconds. So once you've made a composition, the first thing that you need to do is select the type tool and then you need to type in your title. So once you've typed in your title, um, right now I need to do a few adjustments. So I just want to change this to semi bold. I want to change this to bold and now it's okay. So I'm just going to align this to the center really quickly, even though it's not as important. So once you're done typing in your title, um, you're going to need to create separate text layers. So depending on how many lines you have, that's how many text layers you're going to need. So right now I'm going to need three text layers. So I'm going to select these two lines and I'm going to press Control X, which is going to cut them. And then I'm going to press the backspace to delete that one line. So now I only have one. The next step is going to be creating the second text layer. So I'm going to click with the type tool and then press control V, which is going to paste that text from before. And right now I'm going to select the last line. I'm going to press control X to cut it and then the backspace to delete that line. And then finally create the third text layer and then just paste the rest of your text. So right now we need to align all of these to the center. This one is already aligned to the center. In fact, it wasn't. So just make sure that they're all centered. And then you can click on the line and then press shift and then just move it upwards and align them like this. And then for precise adjustments, you can always use the arrow keys. So once you're done with this, um, the next thing is selecting the rectangle tool. And right now we need to make masks for each um, line. So I'm going to select the text layer, which I'm masking. And then I'm going to mask it like that. Make sure that the mask is tight around the bottom of the text, because that's where it's going to animate from. So now let's select the second line. Like this. Okay. And then the last line like that. So once you're done with this, we only need to animate one of these text layers because they all have the same character size. But if they don't, then be careful with this and be careful with the values. We're just going to animate one of these and then we're going to copy and paste the animation to the uh, remaining two lines. So click on the first text layer and then click right here to show the layer properties and go to animate position. So like I've said, if I move this one maybe to, I don't know, 80, it moves it out of the mask and it's no longer visible. And this is going to be the same value for all three of these lines. But if you have one that has a bigger character size, be careful with this and then animate it separately. So right now we could just animate this position value, but I'm not going to do it like that. Instead, we're going to click on the range selector. And as you can see right now, it's animated per single character. But then we need to go into the advanced options and then click on based on words. So right now we're going to have it animated by separate words. Now the next step is going to be setting the shape to ramp up. And now if we change the offset value, we can see that this animates. So let's set the offset to minus 100. Then let's create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch. And then let's move the playhead to the 15th frame. And then let's move it to 100. So right now we have this animation. The next step is going to be selecting these two keyframes and then hitting F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. And then right now we can close this animator and with the playhead at the first frame, we can select it, press control C, and then we can select both of these remaining lines and then press control V. And right now, as you can see, all three of them are animated separately. 
Now, the next step, since they all come in at the same time, is going to be adjusting the offset of each layer. So I'm simply going to offset the first one by one, two, three frames, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the second one. So I'm offsetting it by a total of six frames, but the gap between each layer is three frames. So right now it looks like this. So we're getting close to being finished. The final step is going to be creating a new null object. I'm going to place it on top, even though that doesn't matter. And then I'm going to parent all of these to the null. Now with the null, I'm going to press S and I'm going to create a scale keyframe. And then I'm also going to press P, which is going to show me the position property. And I'm also going to create a keyframe. Now I can select the null and I can press U and that's going to show me all the keyframes that I've created. So first I'm going to animate the position. I want the position to finish animating by maybe this point right here when the last word of the first line comes in. So I'm going to create a second keyframe and I'm not going to change its value. Instead, I'm going to change the value of the starting position and you can see the null right here. I'm just going to move it downwards and don't worry, this isn't going to be visible when you preview and render this. So this is what we have so far. And then we're going to animate the scale. So we're going to set the beginning value to maybe 115. So as you can see right now, it's a bit bigger than it was. And then I want to move the playhead to maybe one second and 15 frames. So that's right here. And then I'm going to set a keyframe to 95%. So now it's a bit smaller than it originally was. So right now it looks like this. But to make it look even better, I'm going to select these two keyframes and then I'm going to hit F9 to easy ease them. But then with both of them selected, I'm going to click right here, which is going to show me the graph editor. Make sure that you're editing the speed graph to see the exact same thing that I see and then adjust these handles like that so that the animation peaks a lot earlier right here around the 10th frame. So now if I preview this, you can see that we're done. That's it for this tutorial. For more tutorials, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.